friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Holly. I hope that everyone is doing well today. Today I'm sharing with you a Crock-Pot collaboration video. And this is going to be from the months of August through December, and it will be the last Wednesday of each month that we're going to post Crock-Pot meals or desserts, things like that. So I hope that you will be able to find some great uh, meal ideas for your family. And this collaboration is going to be hosted by two very sweet YouTubers, uh, Tiffany at Small Town Six, and she has great content on her channel. She's the mother of four children. She does uh, grocery hauls, cooking videos, and especially budget-friendly meals. So she always shows great ways you can save money uh, with your meals that you cook for your family. Uh, so she gives you some tips there and really some great ideas on the dinners that you can make for your family. Uh, she also has a small uh, apparel shop. So I wanted to share that on here. This is one of her shirts and I really love it. It's very soft material, very nice. Uh, she does custom designs as well. So if you're looking for that type of uh, thing, Christmas is gonna be coming up. So go and check her um, little shop out and I will leave the name down below so you can go search that. I don't know if I can leave the link or not, but if not, I will leave the name of her store down below. So please go and check that out. The second YouTuber that is hosting this, very sweet lady, is Jessica. Jessica Myros is her channel, and I will leave the link down below for her. And she has great content as well on her channel. She has two very sweet little boys. So she does motherhood content, lifestyle, uh, homemaking content, wellness content. So go and check her channel out. She has great videos there. Uh, I'm gonna leave the links below for both of those channels. And also the playlist will also be down below so you can check all the great recipes that you'll find uh, for this collaboration. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I made for this collaboration and I hope that you enjoy it. And this is a creamy crock pot white chicken chili recipe. And I know that there are a lot of versions out there uh, for white chicken chili, but this one I really wanted to try. Um, I already had all these ingredients in my pantry and the chicken in my freezer, so I decided to go ahead and try this one, this version. But you will need a pound of chicken breast and you wanna just trim off any fat that could be on it. And three cups of chicken broth and I'm using less sodium and the recipe even calls for that. One onion that is diced up. You will need two cans of Great Northern Beans and you will drain and rinse those. One can of whole kernel corn and that will also be drained. Two cans of chopped green chilies and the recipe in her recipe she used one can of mild and one can of hot I was only able to get the mild so I'm gonna go ahead and use that you will need two uh, cloves of garlic minced and for the seasoning the recipe called for one teaspoon of salt I'm using just a fourth of a teaspoon and I will add more at the end if I need it because um, we try to cut out some of the sodium but you will also need a teaspoon of cumin, three fourths of a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, and a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. And this is everything you will add to the crock pot uh, to cook this. But then at the end, you will add four ounces of cream cheese and a fourth of a cup of half and half. And I will put this in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. So just make sure you take the cream cheese out uh, right before you go to add it to the pot. So that way it has time to soften up. Now add the chicken to the crock pot, but you wanna cut those chicken breasts into three pieces each. And then you will take the seasoning and you wanna just mix that up so everything's um, well combined. Then just take a spoon and you will just sprinkle it over the chicken. Now add the onions. Then add the garlic.
You want to make sure that the beans are drained and rinsed before you add it to the pot. Then add the green chilies. Add the drained corn and the chicken broth. Now the recipe calls for cilantro. I don't like cilantro, neither one of us do. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of parsley to it and then just stir it up. And you wanna kinda of gently do that. I don't wanna break up the beans too much. And once you have that mixed up, just put the cover on top. Now either choose to put this on eight hours on low or three to four hours on high. I chose the four hours on high because I started this a little bit later than I had expected to. Now once the four hours is up or however long you're cooking it for, add the cream cheese either to the crock pot just as is and you will melt it like that. But I decided uh, there was a tip in the recipe if you want a smoother consistency. So I decided to follow that tip and you just add some of the hot liquid to the cream cheese in a bowl and you just take a whisk uh, and you will just uh, melt it and once you do that it becomes a smoother consistency to add back into the crock pot um, i find it didn't have all the little um, clumps of cream cheese that don't melt uh, when i cook things like this so this worked out perfectly so it's a good tip if you want your cream cheese to be a little bit smoother in that uh, liquid so just add that to the crock pot. Then the next thing you will add is the half and half and you just stir that up. And now you will take the chicken out and you will put that into a stand mixer or on a plate to shred it. And then you will add it back into the pot. And you will also um, stir this up and put the lid back on. You will cook it for 15 more minutes on high and you will cook that for 15 minutes. Mine does not go any lower than 30 on this. It will go higher, but no lower than 30 minutes. So I have to put it on uh, a timer elsewhere for 15 minutes. But then this is what it looks like when it's done. It was really delicious. I added just a little bit of salt to it when I was done in my bowl. And I added some jalapeno peppers, some tortilla uh, strips, and some Monterey Jack cheese and it turned out really delicious. We really did enjoy this. And if you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'd like to make sure you go and check out Tiffany's channel at Small Town 6 and Jessica's at Jessica Myros. I will leave the links below in the description box. So please be sure to go check their channels out and check the playlist as well of all the great crock pot recipes you'll find. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my videos and who's watching now. I really do appreciate you. And if that's the type of content you like to see, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. That will notify you when I post new videos. I hope that everyone has a blessed day and a great week. God bless y'all.